Hey guys, welcome. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about the books that I want to read for the month of October, the spookiest, bestest month of the year. So let's jump in. I probably have a gazillion books. I was going to say a million, but a gazillion books that I want to read. They are probably all scattered through my shelves because one thing I am not very good at organizing is like my seasonal reads or my Halloween reads. I do keep my Christmas books to the side, but other than that, you would think that I would keep my Halloween books or the books that are titled October or have October in the title somewhere separate from the rest of my books, but I don't. So I am sure I'm missing a lot of books to put on my TBR. But I have eight books here that I would love to get to. I don't think so. The past couple of months, I've read five books, four books. Last month for September, spoiler alert, I read four books. So eight seems like a lot, but I did travel a lot this summer and I don't plan on doing any traveling for the fall season as of yet. But um, I know that October is gonna be a pretty chill month for me. So I'm hoping that I could at least read 10 to 12 books because October tends to be the month where I read the most. With all that babbling out of the way, let's talk about the books. Night in the Lonesome October. I started this book, I wanna say I started it last year, uh, but I never finished it. This is, you know, one of those books that October finished and I didn't finish the book and so I had to wait, naturally, until this October to be able to read it because God forbid, that I read a book titled October or that October is part of the title and I read it in November. Like, no. I just, I have trouble reading Richard Lehman sometimes because he can get a little, a little too slow burny for me, like, like just too much. And so it takes me a really long time to finish his books, but I do enjoy them. I think from what I remember, because I really did not read a lot. I think I read 50 pages of this. And from what I can remember, um, we have our main character I can't remember his name but he uh, is in love with his girlfriend and one day she breaks up with him and I think something happens on a walk or something like that that just changes his life I'm not sure don't quote me uh, but I'm super excited to finally finish this one Dark Matter magazine came out with a special edition. It was the Nightworms variant, and it came in one of our Nightworms packages. I would assume and guess that this was for October. What year? I and I can't go that far, but I know that it was for in, in October. It was 2021, because I have the actual bookmark in it. This is actually how I found one of my favorite artists, and I started following him on Instagram, and it is Sam Heimer. I mean, his art is sick. Look at that. It, oh my gosh. It's so good. But I would love to get these short stories finished and check out um, what the rest of the magazine looks like. The Spook in the Stacks. This is part of the Lighthouse Library Mystery Series that I am reading. I've probably talked about this series every video since, I don't know, like three or four videos back because it's the series and the books that have been consuming my brain and my emotions and my soul because I just love them so much. Well, I'm going into book number four because remember that I had to wait a little bit to read this one because I said that it had pumpkins on the cover and it was just giving me October vibes. Sure enough, it is set in Halloween. I'm currently reading this one right now and I could not be happier. So that was one of the books on my TBR, but because I'm in my cozy mystery era, I have two other books, two other cozy mysteries that I would love to get to this month. The first one being Trick or Deadly Treat by Livia, Livia Washburn. Livia, Livia. I've never heard anything about this book, but I picked up this book in a like book warehouse kind of store that they have in the outlet malls. They have since closed and I was so heartbroken when I went to the outlet mall and they were no more. I think they were called Book Warehouse. Now I could be completely wrong and everybody probably talked about this book but I haven't heard anything about it. And this one is a fresh baked mystery. I guess that's the name of the series. And in the other one, the Lighthouse Library Mystery series, um, there is actually a bakery that's talked a lot about in that book, talked about a lot in that book and so 
And so I love that there is a baking element in this one. It says it's Halloween in Weatherford, Texas, which means Phyllis Newsome is baking up a storm of yummy seasonal treats like please. I, I need all the seasonal fall spooky like treats. I just want them all. But she's about to get even busier unmasking a killer. Cozy mysteries are just so fun in my humble opinion and they just really do something to my soul. With that said, I have another cozy mystery on my TBR for October and this one is Wicked Witch Murder by Leslie Meir. Meir? A Lucy Stone mystery. Oh my gosh, how funny. Our main character in the library lighthouse or the lighthouse library mystery. Can I stop? Can I stop talking about that series? I'm gonna try. But let me finish saying what I had to say before I stop talking about the series. Our main character is named Lucy, so it's pretty cool to see that I'm imagining that our main character here, his name is gonna be Lucy as well. With Halloween around the corner and a mysterious murder close to home, Lucy's stone's fall is off to a sinister start. I'm not gonna read the whole synopsis, I'm just reading what it says at the top, like the pre-synopsis. <laughs> I'm so dumb, but uh, super excited for this one and I'm guessing this one has a cat. I feel like most cozy mysteries that I have seen um, feature cats more than they do dogs or other animals. Correct me if I'm wrong and if you know more cozy mystery books that have dogs as pets, please let me know in the comments down below. I found this while uh, perusing Walmart, the Walmart book section, and I had to immediately pick it up. I had never heard anything about it, and the cover just really, really grabbed me. It's a graphic novel, and it says, learning to become a witch is hella difficult. Halloween. I'm so excited for this one, and I think it's gonna be just perfect for like a cool night with some hot chocolate and some cookies or something or some baked treat of a sort. Uh, perfection. The final three books are all going to be horror books. So I sort of sandwiched the, the cozy mysteries and the graphic novel, the coziness. I sandwiched it with horror because we started with Richard Lehman. We're continuing with Christopher Triana. You guys know. You guys know one of my favorite authors and I'm so excited to dive into his work a little bit more. The Long Shadows of October. When I realized last year, because I've had this for a little bit already, when I realized last year that October went by without me reading this, I got a little mad. But this year, I'm gonna be buddy reading this with my friend Tali because she also has this on her TBR. I have no idea what this is about and I wanna keep it like that. I really wanna go into this one blind. Uh, but if you read this one, let me know your thoughts. Obviously, spoiler free, please. Dark Harvest, I've been wanting to read this forever. Um, a couple years back, I believe I had it on my TBR and somebody told me, hey, just FYI, there is pretty bad uh, animal cruelty in the book. And ever since I heard that, I've been putting it off and hesitating, but I think I'm finally gonna brave it and see how it is. I mean, for me, it doesn't even have to be really bad. If there's just like minimally some kind of like animal cruelty, as minimal as it can be, it will still really affect me. So I don't know why I'm doing this to myself, but I've heard that this book is so good. I don't know much about it and I wanna keep it like that. So I'm sorry, no synopsis for that one. But I just, I wanna see what all the fuss is about, so. Hopefully I can handle it. I just remembered that I had a few books on my Kindle that I wanted to read that I keep forgetting about because they are on my Kindle. So I'm glad I remembered. I'm glad that I have somewhere now that I can go back and say, hey, what were those Kindle books that I wanted to read? And here we go. This is Halloween by James Moore. Has been on my Kindle for a hot minute. I want to read it. Don't know much about it. I just know that it is a Halloween themed book. So that's all I need to know. That's all I need to know. And that's how we're going to go into this one. And Halloween Fiend by C.B. Hunt. This is another one that I've been putting off because I heard there is a pretty heavy animal cruelty scene in this one. And so I've been putting it off as well. I don't know what I'm doing to myself this month. Um, all just the emotional attacking that I am doing on myself, but we're gonna give it a try. I'm not gonna push myself too much. If I feel like I can't handle it, then I'll just put it down. The same thing with the other one. But I, I just don't get it. Why do we have to do this in books? I get it, I do. And you know what? 
to each his own. It is a pretty bad thing. It's a pretty horrific thing. So I, I understand why it is in horror books, but, but we need it to stop. Like I need it to stop. I don't know about we, but I need it to stop. Last and final book on my TBR is going to be a surprise to many of you. Demon Theory. The only reason why it's going to be a surprise is because it's by Stephen Graham Jones and I said I was not going to read another Stephen Graham Jones book because I, me and him, just his writing and me just, we really do not mix. I've tried, I think, four books already and I really haven't liked any of them um, other than Night of the Living Mannequin. I think that's the name of it. I enjoyed that one. Um, that's the one that I've enjoyed the most and it was a really short book. But this like special edition came out of this. I had never heard of it. I read the synopsis. It is on Halloween night if I'm not mistaken. It takes place on Halloween night. This doesn't have a synopsis or anything so I can't really check but um, in the back you see we have pumpkins and stuff so I think it takes place on Halloween night. So the synopsis really grabbed me, the cover, so I pre-ordered this special edition and we're just gonna hope for the best because I am a firm believer that there's always gonna be that one book by a, an author that you just don't mingle well with, like with the writing. There's always gonna be that one book, right? Like there has to be. And I'm hoping this one is it. That's it. Those are all the books that are on my October TBR. I'm so excited. I'm so pumped. I'm feeling great for October. I, it could be because I'm just reading the Lighthouse Library Mystery Series. I had to. I had to talk about it again because it's just my heart. I don't know if it's just because I'm reading that that I am just like, yes, I want to read. I want to read. Or if it's just that I'm really because it's October. It's a spooky month. I'm just like wanting to read. I know there's a bunch of readathons. I wanted to mention this. I know that there's a bunch of readathons. I'm not participating in any just because I I'm sort of done with readathons I've come to the conclusion it was one of my favorite things to do when I first came onto the community and I found the book community was uh, participate in readathons and readathons and I think I just burnt myself out on them every time that I'm gonna participate in a readathon these past couple of years I completely fail I'm not feeling it and so I'm gonna take a step back um, I, I'm dying seeing all the readathons that are happening in October and I'm sort of having FOMO but just for my mental health I'm not participating in any because I can get very carried away and then I beat myself up because I don't reach the levels that I'm trying to give myself and that's just crazy. So let me know if you're participating in a readathon. Let me know what your plans are, your reading plans are for October. Let me know what your plans are, period. Are you traveling? Are you baking? Are you having a party? Tell me what you're doing for the month of October. I would love to chat with you about books or about anything that you want to talk about that's happening in October. Let's chat in the comment section down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!